This video is a remake of an old video of mine where I made this enemy right here. The enemy is called Grazer and the video where I made this enemy and the link provided in that video was a bit outdated so I made this video and added this enemy into this GitHub repository for easy access. I'll be adding more enemies from my other videos as well as adding newer enemies. There has been some requests like Hornet. <laughs> Mantis boss fight. From Hollow Knight. So I will make a video on them as well and put them in this repository. So stay tuned. Now, before you check the repository out, please like the video for the YouTube algorithm and comment down below what kind of an enemy AI would you like me to make and I'll make a video on that pretty soon. So with that said, let me show you how this enemy AI works. So the enemy just basically moves in a certain direction at a certain angle. When it bumps on a wall, it flips and starts moving towards the other direction. If it bumps on the roof, then it starts going down. If it bumps on the ground, it starts going up. Now let's see the enemy AI. So here is the enemy and this is its script. The three boxes you see on the enemy are the ground check, top check and the right check respectively. These are the things that check if the enemy has bumped into something or not. In this project, the wall has been set as a layer of ground and the platform as a layer of platform. Now those boxes mainly check for the layers called ground and platform but in your project you might have more than just ground and platform and you can have as many layers as you like and if you do then we will just need to change the script a little bit and it should work perfectly fine. Now in the AI script component, I have set the speed at 5, the movement direction is set as 1 to make it go on the right side and 0.5 to make it move at a certain angle. You can fiddle around with the Y value to make it move at an angle you would like. Drag and drop your right roof and ground check game object on your right roof and ground check section and set their size properly for proper detection. Then set the ground and platform layer accordingly if you have more then set them as well. And finally let's say if you want to make the player go downwards then you should check going up as false and set your Y as negative 0.25 to make it go downwards. So you can fiddle around with the value however you like and now let's see how this code works. Now these values that have serialized field in front of them are the values you saw in the inspector of our enemy. And these three booleans called touch ground, touch roof and touch right are used to check if we touch the ground roof or right side of our enemy. The enemy RB is a physics component that is in our enemy which is called when we start our game. Now in our fix update we make the player move at a certain direction which is our move direction with a certain amount of speed which is our speed value. Then in the update we have our hit logic and it works something like this. Here there are three booleans which have a hit detector. A hit detector is a box that gets created in our game object's position which for us is the right roof and ground check game object. The box will have a certain size which in our case will be the right roof and ground check size then the box will have a certain rotation in our case which is zero because we didn't need to rotate it anywhere and it will check a certain layer which in our case is either the ground or the platform layer. If you want to add more layers let's say wall layer then you can add a wall layer here and add our wall like this. So that now it will check for either ground, platform or the wall layer. Then you should set it up in the inspector and you're good to go. Now in this hit logic when let's say touched 
right is true, this flip function will run where the enemy will rotate on the y axis by 180 degree, making the enemy flip, and then the move direction on the x axis will be negative, meaning if it's going right, then it will start going left, and if it is going left, then it will flip and start going right. Now, if touch roof is true and you're going up, then this change y direction function will start running, where it will start moving downwards and set our going up to not going up by setting it as false. Similarly, if touch ground is true, meaning you touch the ground and you're not going up, meaning you're going down, then again, this change y direction function will run and will start moving up and this not going up will be changed into not, not going up, basically meaning going up will be set to true. So with that logic done, this on draw gizmo selected is just to draw those cubes on the ground roof and right check position. It's only shown in the scene view and will not be seen in our gameplay. Now one last thing you have to do is that in your rigid body set freeze rotation as true or else the enemy will start tumbling. So with that said, thank you for watching, I hope you liked the video, smash the like button, hit subscribe, you can support this channel on Patreon if you like, like these wonderful people right here and have a wonderful day guys, bye bye.